Call the roll. Bird. Here. Again. Here. Sign. Here. 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 Again. Yes. Sucker. Sorry. Signs. Yes. Mormon. Yes. 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 Y
uh, within the revenue that you have coming in. Uh, it was taken to the token committee for approval to move forward to council. That's where we are tonight. Uh, so I'll answer any questions you have. Otherwise, I would ask for a motion to approve that additional position for public works. Start date on the position. I'm sorry. What is the start date? We would have to advertise. So with 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 the U.S. Water um, thing as well, we have one employee that's asked to transfer. Uh, so he that transfer would take effect on March 1st. We still have that would be to kind of organize it would be the new position. Uh, we have a position that JR has left open since uh, September until we, we decided what we were going to do with US Water. So uh, JR would advertise uh, right away. Okay, well, uh, maybe you didn't recommend uh, approving this position. I was thinking. Okay, call the roll. <clears throat> Yes, Ray. Yes, Bird. Yes, Nick. Yes, Science. Yes, Mormon. Yes, Check Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. I agree with one thing is uh, housekeeping things regarding the Arts Commission. As you know, last meeting we decided that we should put it in our holding to the new elected officials that see it and figure out the terms that are assigned on the Arts Commission and where they go from there. As part of that, we are also doing this because otherwise it's a whole another 45 days past January to fix anything if we want to. If we don't do this now, then the time just resets. So all we're doing is this, is this is the first reading, and then it's going to go through the process of January while the new seating and the new elected officials discuss it, and then that way everything's ready to go. I'm open any questions. Um, some of the authority and duties, and as part of the discussion process with the elected officials, and some issues that were raised during the process this year. Um, so, first issue was dealing with authority and, and conflicting power and authority with city departments. It was conflicting reports and requests for services without going through the proper channels. There was additional service requested, not approved until after the fact. There was the permit issue with the liquor license. There was constant things that needed fixed as part of the review process to identify which you yourself did. All we're doing is this is starting the process now so we don't delay the process next year. If council decides at that time they don't want to do it, they're always able to change that. This is the first reading of three. But if we wait now and it's just going to push it back forward, or further back, and I do not think that would work. Right <clears throat> Any other questions? So, uh, what is the new role then of the, would the new role be of this advisory board? That would be something that'd be fully discussed, but we can't change the current guidelines without going through the three step process. So while that three step process is happening, those things can be finalized. If we don't do that, we have the discussion then start it, it would be probably March, April before the March commission the three step process. Is the application process for the numbers the same? Same application form on the website. So the people who have already applied would still be considered? Well. If anyone applies for that, they would be applied for the new seating of the new parts commission, but the new members would not be seated, so they like officials decide how that's going to happen. So, what the final format is, is what they like officials decide around the table. When that happens in January, the application will be considered and then it'll be voted on it, just like, just like the current process. But we can't do that until we know what the formal process is, and we can't change anything in the arts commission in our current code without going through the three meetings. And if we wait till January, which I know you always concerned that waiting 30 days, we'd be waiting close to 60 days if we didn't do this, if we waited till January to start the process. It, it just seems unnecessary to change from what's already there. The new numbers will be here. The issues that you stated were first Thursday 
related issues, which I noted at the last meeting. It was all, they were all a time situation. First Thursday, so it won't even be an issue. That's going to be handled by another group now. First Thursday? As we move forward, the CDB will be taking over the green space. They will be in charge of those things. The point of contact would be as part of our CDB contact with the green space. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Will uh, will the appointing of members to this board still be the mayor's appointments ratified by the council? Yes. Will the city be refunding our membership fees that people pay? How much are we talking? Uh, $20 times 45 people, and then other donations that came in. Yeah, we need to. Mm -hmm. and, and as long as it can be verified by the records, you are correct. Right. I'll just, yeah, all that on. So if they can come in and they wish to have it refunded, we have those records. I would want to look into that. I would have some concern if they've been members and we if they donate the money and those funds for the events, those kinds of things. I would want to look at that. So my preference would be is that if that becomes an issue, then we look at to see exactly when those ones do and what the one year mark for and those kinds of things, how long they work and all the rest of it. The membership uh, process is in June, so none of them will be members for more than six months. And they were all guaranteed that membership through the phone thing. And all current members will be honored for that process as well. So there will be no change and, and no issues if they wish to continue to be members of the arts. Yeah, just, I, just to be clear, we're not getting rid of it. This is all part of the format process and fixing issues we've identified with the board. So come 2022, the process will continue. It still doesn't make a lot of sense that if you're if the players involved with first Thursdays are no longer participating, then what the only issues you stated were first Thursdays issues. No, the the first Thursday members of the participants are still on this day. What the mayor was referring to was the CDB contract with the green space. And <coughs> part of our issues with the green space this past year, as you all know, was, was coordinating with the farmers market and the request for waivers of the green space for operations, the, the toilet facilities, the fencing, and everything else, which they will now coordinate as part of the contract. So first Thursdays are going to happen. If you volunteer for first Thursdays, you can still volunteer for first Thursdays. If the chamber still wants to participate, they can still participate as partners. But the CVB, as part of our contract on tonight's agenda with the green space, is going to be the point of contact. So we're not disqualifying anybody from participating if they wish to even partner with us. But the CVB is the point of contact for the green space. Well, I had expressed my concern, I think, back in July, maybe August, about the confusion of what was the chamber and what was the Arts Council. It seemed like the first Thursday's events was a chamber event. It was about it focused on downtown businesses and the success of downtown businesses. It was a bear tent, and they only benefited one arts organization the entire time, this six times that it happened. And yet my understanding at that time when I asked was that the Arts Council actually paid for the bands. So I'm I'm 100% for reassessing all of that. I just wanted to say it was already confusing. I attended two meetings and it was incredibly confusing at what the Arts Council really was. It looked more like a political tool rather than promoting the arts in our community. Or just to clarify, the Arts Commission partnered with the Chamber, downtown businesses, and the Farmers Markets to coordinate for exclusive events. The Arts Commission had no part in the alcohol licenses. The Chamber handled the, the uh, permits for that, and they insurance. 
Reed scheduled the band and the entertainment. He also scheduled and partnered with the downtown businesses for the family night, which was quite kid oriented. Um, so our our role within the music artistic part of the program, the farmers market handled all the vendors and did a fine job and they, they're working to grow that market. The most important thing that we accomplished is that we were able to bring in all the downtown businesses or retailers as partners. That's what we need to, uh, that's what we would like to see moving forward is that we grow that partnership so that first Thursdays are a greater benefit to the downtown businesses. And then I have one other question. So is the CBD being asked to pay the $1,600 for the year that this art commission was asked to pay at the beginning of the season in order to use the green space. You asked about the $1,600. Was the arts commission paid or paying that original request? That's what you asked us to pay, and you guys agreed to waive it for this first year. Correct. And then we were going to be negotiating <laughs> that amount again this year. But you had stated that there was no way that fee would be waived because of the maintenance costs for that for that uh, community space. You know, what, part of the other discussions we also had was in the use of the portos down there that was being paid for out of the green space committee funding instead of other funding. There was the revenue being generated from the vendor fees to the chamber who was porting it and covering their liability insurance. There was the additional thing of the fencing and the additional cost incurred of that. So all these things that we are still working through are still going to be happening and discussing in January. We waived it this year, yes. But no, at no time was anything shut down for next year moving forward because we understood that this was the first year with things that needed fixed, and we are fixing those things. <coughs> and, and I'm happy to answer any other questions you have. Item number two, CDB discussion of green space agreement. Um, <coughs> last, I wrote at our last meeting on this. Uh, earlier this year, we approached the chamber about this similar agreement. There was no interest at that time. Um, with the green space committee being dissolved formally with the meeting of two official members and then for calling under ED, it was decided to take this burden off ED and staff that we need to look at a formal agreement to run the green space to really see an increase in use. So we approached CBB to do it and they brought forward proposal for us on the pass on the bill. So the agreement uh, that was approved by CBB and coming to council for approval and then we send it to the council should be able to see that idea. And we have Chris Walker here, the executive director of CBB for any questions as well. So I'd just like to say thank you to the council and mayor for um, entrusting us and taking care of that space. And um, we just were looking forward to it and put together a committee to make it bigger and better for this next year. Thank you. Thank you. This is not an action item, this is a session that's later on. The yeah, agreement for approval. Mm -hmm. um, and third, our final item under EP is that I homes. Um, if you all remember, uh, my main agreement that's referring to is the development agreement for the Garfield property that we started three years ago. Um, they asked for one extension due to COVID uh, requirements. It was granted. They asked for another extension due to weather as well. Um, that ends December 31st. And TV met earlier tonight and decided at that time there was no interest to move forward with another extension, but to enforce the agreement as is. So we directed staff to move forward with uh, any and all options that we should discuss, uh, city attorney uh, Robbins and city administrator Scare, and they will work closely together on this and many, many meetings probably to figure this out and move forward with it. But the key thing is always always is to get that development in your homes on there. So that's all. <coughs> Hey, the bar reports uh, building fish dead. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I want to get counsel an update on our visiting map for our wards. 
Um, we do this, we do that every 10 years, concurrent with the new census. Um, we've been working with the county, who the county, any of us that are primarily um, agreed to, to uh, review our maps for us. We met with the middle of my own, or met with uh, any of the IBM, uh, Patrick, I don't know, three or four weeks ago. Uh, they went through some different options, and this is the best option we came up with. Very little movement. The map you have in front of you, um, this is one up on the board there up on the screen. There's the dashed line, if you look particularly at District 4, uh, that moves by a block. The line moves about approximately one block. It's very, very minimal. Um, none of the districts change for any of the council members. They will all be in the same, same distance. Uh, none of that will change. And if you look at on the back page, if you have in front of you at the bottom of the page, it shows you under total, it shows you the population number in each one of those districts. By state law, we're allowed up to a 20% variation um, from, from one ward from one district to another, and or under uh, 2% because of the changes that we made more as well within that realm. Um, we have you early tonight um, set a public hearing for January 3rd. We hope to have the first reading of ordinance on the 3rd. Uh, we'll hold our public hearing um, and then we'll see the final reading. That's the final meeting in January. And I'll meet with that date, the 17th, I believe, and, and adopt and then just sit on this information from the Secretary of State. I'll um, entertain any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, finance option. Okay. Uh, City Attorney Jim. Thank you. And the uh, consent agenda is a resolution to participate in the uh, opioid uh, settlement that has been reached by uh, all of the states. Uh, about $28 million that the year mark, uh, how it gets divided, we have to be we uh, will have participation in that. It needs to be used for education, uh, prevention, and those kinds of things. All kinds of different options are set forth in that uh, agreement. So I can't tell you exactly how it's all going to shake out, but the more uh, parties that participate, the more the state of Iowa will receive. So, so uh, I think we should participate in with that, I have nothing further. Uh, Director of Public Works, John House. Yes, Sean, a couple of things. Um, in the consent agenda, we have payment for South Marshall Street, the overlay. It's not quite complete, most of it's done. Um, we reduced it $30,000 from the pay request because we had some motivated damages. Uh, so we're working that out, but it is for the most part done, and Terry can see each uh, approve this pay request. Um, the next thing is erosion control on the sliding hill. Um, it looks great. I don't know if you've done, been down by it, but it looks really good. We got some bids for uh, replaying for erosion control. Pretty high. Um, one's like 46,000, the other one's like 38,000. That's for seating, socks, silk fence, and they have these hay uh, blankets that they put down the whole entire thing. That's where it's really expensive. Um, we had a couple companies give us bids. One company only you know, constructed, so that's the only way they would do it. Um, but the other one, Lawn Services, Keith McDonald gave us a bid of, as, as a, not the Cadillac, but the next step down uh, for $9,000. It is actually, you got the packet there, $8,587. That's to do everything except for the hay blankets. And then it's a, and that's also for reseeding in the spring. So if we get a big washout, something like that, he would hit it again in the spring. If it was a golf or something really nice, I would say absolutely the blankets, everything. And uh, we will build it. We're not going to open it until next year. So, if I'm going to forbid something happens, we can fix it by the time we actually use. So, I'm going to recommend the $8,000 one. The park commission went to these, they really wanted the, the, the $3,000 one. Um, but uh, after some discussion with Amy Landis, we thought we'd maybe this is around the building. <coughs> and if something happens, we can address it before we open it next year. Uh, so, I don't know if I need a motion. Or, yes. This is going to be just part of the, the demo project that we're uh, wrapping up. So, so is this a green light for me to tell them to do it? Or? No, it would be through um, Lawn Services, Keith McDonald. For the 8,587 staff that are our option at this time. And it would be part of the uh, 
Yeah, we'll call it. Yes, please. Motion to approve estimate number two. Second. Call the roll. Frank? Yes. Bird? Yes. Again? Yes. Sign? Yes. Marmon? Yes. Chipmunk? Yes. Trekker? Yes. With the way the other being the way it is right now, he seems to try to get the seat in order to get it done. So that's good. And there's also a couple of days, one's for the Old Fairway site, 608 Story Street. Um, that was for 6100 bucks, And for the airport, which is 2900 bucks. You don't have to have that. I decided to give you a bid, so we had someone on an idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the last thing is, I know I talked with Phil, and Bill said one of your goals, so to speak, for next year is stumps in the public right away. Um, we just got done uh, doing 59 of them for $107, $5 a, a pop, which is a pretty good price. Um, we got like over 550 of them. So it's going to take a little while to get there. We budget ten thousand dollars a year to do it, and so it's going to take a while. So, yeah. so uh, we're we're doing it. We're doing it. All right. Thank you. No, we can recommend you do the airport. So. That is up. We can certainly add that if council so chooses. But what was that then? Airport bid was two thousand nine hundred dollars, so about three grand. So you had nine, about twelve grand total. We certainly can do that if the council chooses. Again, it'll be part of the demo process. I like to get it done to the add and make sure this so it's done and off late and not coming back and budget time for the next year. You want to start a motion on that? Yeah. Just before we get to move on from this, is what's the old fairway site? Uh, Six point four. Yeah, is that? Do we need to talk about that at all? I think we should delay that until that from the bond vote. And sure. We just want to make sure we don't have any roads to control along the alley and around the feeding state. The feeling is why spend money to put grass in when the bond vote passes, then we're going to have to care about that. I don't know we're going to take care of that. The assumption is still right. It's part of their contract. They just haven't done no report on your engineer, public safety chief Adams. No report, Your Honor. Uh, chief Weevil. No report. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, city Administrator Bill. Thank you, sir. First item is discuss the special election for March 1st. Uh, in front of you, you see the resolution 2951. This needs to be passed uh, to direct the uh, county to have a special election on March 1st for the Wellness Center. The uh, bond language that we talked about last council meeting is on there up there in, in a bold black, as well as the rest of that. In discussions with the uh, auditor's office, there'll be just one location for the votes, and that'll be at the community building for March 1st. So, this I believe is in the consent agenda. So, I do not need a bond at this time. My second item is I covered a little bit in um, goal setting. I'm working with Concept Works to help us prepare for the bond. Uh, it's, the agreement is as needed, not to exceed $15,000, so there's no contract. I do not need to help to approve. This is money I budgeted. This is more of an informational thing for you, and if there's any questions that I can answer them. My third item is the Genova contract. This has been reviewed by legal, it's been reviewed by uh, the economic development myself. And it's in the consent agenda as well. And this, this is an agreement with Genova if the bond passes March 1st to design and handle the construction of the wellness center. In addition, phase, so that'd be phase two. Phase one is coming up with some concepts uh, conceptual drawings and I think a visual tour at some point. Uh, we have a meeting coming up. I don't know, agree to announce the meeting date. Yeah, we're uh, for the first one, we're in Santa Community. We will be Thursday, January 1st. Okay, so those drawings and everything to get us the election, the cost is $15,000 uh, to the Novo, and uh, that is budgeted as well. And, and, uh, <coughs> So that will not be part of the agreement moving forward. And, and as I said, we'll, we'll pay that as it comes in. Again, that's in the consent agenda. 
Uh, the only other thing I have is just a reminder uh, we have several meetings coming up here in January. Remember January 4th, the hotel, hotel meeting. January 11th is the first budget meeting at six o'clock. And if necessary, uh, a second budget meeting on January 19th. Okay, that's all. Sorry. Thank you, brother. Uh, yeah, we've been working on the school road. Uh, we had a meeting with the school, uh, Councilor Pinkoff and myself. We believe I talked to I think, uh, Terry about this. We have, uh, I think, a, a tentative agreement subject to um, approval of council. I'm still working on it, and I'll be bringing that on January 3rd for your approval. I will just say that the discussions with the school district have been very good, and they've been very well in partners with us trying to figure this out and make sure everything happens the way we all need it to happen when the school building is being built. So there's a lot of good progress and a lot of good things happen right now. Okay. That's all I have to okay. Number six, consent agenda. Are there any items on the consent agenda you'd like to move and discuss separately? And if not, I need a motion to approve. So moved. Call the roll. Bird? Yes. Chicken? Yes. Pine? Yes. Mormon? Yes. Yes. Parker? Yes. Gray? Yes. Okay, number seven, ordinances. First reading, ordinance 2272 to allow the city of Denial to change the parking regulations around Memorial Park by amending chapter, chapter 69, section 69.08. So moved. Second. Call the roll. Again? Yes. Signs? Yes. Mormon? Yes. 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 B. First reading order is 2273, resolve the Boone City Arts Commission in its current form and replace the different entity, Chapter 33. So moved. Second. Call the roll. Signs? No. Mormon? Yes. Pick Yes. No. Ray? Yes. Bird? Yeah. Again? Yes. Okay, number eight. Uh, I have no comments this evening. I do have a couple of appreciation plaques I would like to hand out to Greg and Holly for their time serving on the city council. Holly served four years. On the city council, and I want to thank her. It's not easy to serve as a public official. I think everybody knows that. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you. Greg's been here 12 years. Pretty well known, aren't you? You've done a great job. I want to thank you for everything you've done as well. It's not been easy, and you've been a big voice on social media. It's kept our community informed. I think you've done a great job. Thank you. Number nine, uh, council member comments. I have a couple of items for you, Your Honor. Um, John and I met with the Noble and Special Hunters by the John 68. Um, they did get all the full scope and street for the fancy boys, which is a good deal the winner is. Um, they still have some erosion control to do and getting uh, off the rebars and sweeping the parking lots for them. So they'll get those done very soon. Um, they did go a little bit about above and beyond because they filled that space up all the way up to level with the sidewalk. So we don't have to put up fences. That would be nice if we don't have to maintain those. Don't worry about those. The gravel piles are gone. It was a huge undertaking by staff. So we appreciate their efforts with that. I'm not supposed to have to buy gravel for several years. Already. Do we know how much was there? Probably about 220. Uh, Tons, 220 truckloads, yeah. truckloads, 220 truckloads. Yeah. It, was, it was a massive amount. The reason they stockpiled is they wanted to know 
how much there was there. There was seven big nine seven twenty twenty foot high. So there's a lot. Um, we already discussed this, but the rec center meeting will be held uh, Thursday, January 13th at 7 p.m. in the City Hall Auditorium. We're going to be introducing the design team, sharing their preliminary design and concepts, soliciting the input of the citizens, and preparing for final design and answering any questions. Um, we'll also be introducing the new rec center committee members. And our plan is to share as much information as possible with the public in the next several weeks. Carrie, I was just going to ask you, that looks like there's a wall that's still. Yes, that they we left a retaining wall in there because of the elevation change. Um, we didn't want that entire project to shift down towards the historical site, which could very well happen. So we left that retaining wall in there. We're receiving a credit for that. Um, and then there's also some uh, footing issues up on the, on the north side. They left the footings in the tunnel, right? They left the footings in the tunnel there. There's some issues. They'll be getting this credit for that as well. So that will be incorporated into the next project. Should be Thank you. Any other council comments? A uh, quick reminder, December 30th, I think we decided to mail the address for the story then. Really lucky. So everybody's welcome to attend. At noon? Noon. Are there any public comments, Brian? Yes. Uh, just a question. I wonder if you could clarify what contract work is. Sure, that's just a company out of the metro area that helps cities when they have bond issues uh, to get them, kind of help them, step them through the process of getting it to a vote to get uh, to get the proper information out and correct information. Are they creating marketing? I'm sorry? Are they creating marketing? That would be some of them. They'll work with the, the yes committee on it, yes. And where did that $15,000 I have it uh, budgeted in the economic development budget. Any other public comments? That's the meeting is adjourned.